So welcome back guys to another video and I thought for this video I'd do another pickups video. I haven't done one since last month and I've gotten some pretty good games uh, within that span and I, this gives me a chance to kind of give you guys like a first impression and kind of talk about uh, maybe some newer titles, maybe some retro titles that hopefully you guys will check out in the future. It'd be nice recommendations. Uh, the first one I want to start with is for the PS4. And I didn't think I would get this game. And what really sold me was the special edition. I got a copy of Mega Man The Legacy Collection. Now, the reason why I was on the fence and I wasn't going to get this is because I do have the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on the Nintendo GameCube. And to be quite frank, uh, the Anniversary Collection is still, in my opinion, the essential uh, version of a Mega Man Collection. That's because you get more... With the anniversary collection and you get with the legacy collection now the legacy collection you get Mega Man 1 through 6 and it's it's pretty fun I mean it's classic Mega Man now my only gripe about this version of the legacy collection is there is a lot of slowdown a lot of lag I mean honestly I have an ooh yeah and I have the ROM sets for Mega Man 1 through 6 and I play it with my Wii uh, controller and it plays perfect it's great it plays exactly the way I remember it on the NES and this one here it has some slowdown most notably with Mega Man 3 there's a lot of slowdown in it now what what can make you kinda wanna get this is of course they do have a challenge mode and the challenge mode is great for Mega Man veterans it's got a bunch of endurance matches a uh, time uh, runs and a uh, boss rush modes and you know that's that right there could be for some people uh, reasons enough to get it and also because of it being on PS4 and Xbox one it's easy to stream as well so if you want to do live streaming of Mega Man this is definitely the way to go now I got the special edition on the PS4 that came with the 8 inch Mega Man figure and the e-tank and that's really what made me, <laughs> that's really what made me want to get it I was like you know what the, the the statue has so much detail to it, and the statue alone would be around $80 or something like that. So I, I look at the sense that I bought the statue, and I got a game for free. So maybe that's not the best way to look at it, but that's the way I looked at it personally. Now, another game I got is another uh, is an HD remaster, and that, of course, is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD remaster on the Wii U. Now, I have to say, I'm kind of eating my words a little bit because I've talked very negatively about HD remasters over the years, and I'm still not a huge fan of them, but I can kind of understand it now. I understand why people like to get HD remasters, especially if it's a game that you really love. What's wrong playing it, and it's looking a lot better? What's wrong with that? And I have to say, uh, Twilight Princess looks fantastic in the HD remake. I have it on the GameCube, and you guys are seeing screen-by-screen -screen, uh, comparisons, and it's definitely a, a huge facelift. And I got the special edition with this as well. I got the uh, Twilight Princess uh, Amiibo with the Wolf Link, and it's, man, it's got so much detail. I really, really like it, and it adds a little bit more to the game. So it adds some more dungeons to it. You can also use some of your other... Uh, Legend of Zelda amiibo with it and have you know different features and stuff so with that being said I don't feel bad getting this game uh, it's still not my favorite Zelda of all time but it's great to play it and plus you know other than the GameCube version if you had it on the original Wii uh, you don't have to use motion controls with this one you can use the Pro Controller if you want so to me this is still the essential the definitive version of Twilight Princess a, a lot of fun another Wii U title I want to talk about is uh, and I did a let's play of it and that is Pokin Tournament now I did a let's play of it and I I still really enjoy this game I, I had a lot of fun playing it uh, I know they were trying to sell it in the fact that you know it's Namco Bandai and it's like a Tekken type of Pokemon game it's not really that much Tekken like Tekken veterans will be kind of disappointed with that comparison to me it plays a little bit more of a over-the-top kind of fighter think of like Naruto um, Ninja Storm or some of the Dragon Ball Z games and you kind of get the right idea it's got a lot of over-the-top special moves and a lot of you know eye candy but 
uh, essentially it, it plays very very well it's a very pick up and easy play fighter it's got a lot of content that it's packing with a punch and I, I really enjoyed it I, I haven't finished it yet uh, I, man, when you start getting to the later leagues, it starts the the rosters start getting more and more. And I mean, you'll be playing this game for I, I, w I would say it would take at least you know two weeks to complete everything if you're really good at it. And the online's excellent. I haven't had any issues online being kicked off or lagging or anything like that. But man, the people online they <laughs> they show no mercy. It's it's freaking tough. But yeah, definitely definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Now the last Wii U game I wanted to show you guys is um, not a new game, but I finally got Pikmin 3. This is a game I've wanted since I got my Wii U, and it was one of those games I wanted for a while, but I was like, you know what, I would see it at GameStop, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like paying that much for it, I'm not going to get it. Well, unfortunately, the original Pikmin 3 went out of print, and that meant that the price started really going up online, and scalpers were charging up the wazoo for this game and I'm sorry I'm not gonna pay uh, over retail for a current gen uh, game well thankfully Nintendo uh, released Pikmin 3 with a couple of other essential titles for the Wii and the Wii U in their uh, Nintendo Select series it's kinda like their greatest hits and I have no problems buying the greatest hits because this only cost me 20 bucks and I, I love the Pikmin series I played the first one haven't played the second one but there's something about Pikmin that that really just draws me to it. I love the animation. I love the uh, the wildlife and exploration that mixes so well with the palette of strategy. I, I really, really enjoy this game. I cannot recommend it enough. And I, I'm definitely going to be playing more of this on Easter weekend. It, this is kind of like my Easter present to myself. I went and bought Pikmin 3 and I'm so glad I got it. I cannot recommend it enough. And the last two games I wanted to show you guys... Um, if you guys remember my last pickups video, I picked up a Neo Geo Pocket Color from my local retro video game store, Game Giant. They gave me a fantastic deal on it. The only thing is, I had no games for it. Well, that changed. I went on uh, Amazon and I got uh, two games right here. I got Samurai Showdown 2 and I also got Doc Arms uh, Buster, uh, <laughs> Buster Blaster 1999. Man, it's such a big mouthful, but... I actually got I actually made these cases from the coverproject.net uh, and these are in DS cases so they're not the original you know complete in box but uh, let's start with Samurai Showdown 2 now I've played fighters before on handhelds I've played fighters on the Game Boy and and the Game Gear and they were always kind of like a hit or miss where I don't know if it's because Neo Geo is the master and their craftsman of making fantastic fighter games but this is a fantastic fighter and it, it even though it was a handheld game it has such a precision uh, control scheme to it and maybe it's the the d-pad has more of that stubby joystick kind of feel that really uh, helps out with doing combos and I think the animations really good they went in a different approach they went in more of like a chibi kind of cutesy look with uh, Samurai Showdown but it works and the soundtracks really good I cannot stress enough how much fun I played this uh, version of Samurai Showdown 2. And the next game uh, for the Neo Geo Pocket, it's of course Dark Arms Buster Blaster 1999. This was recommended to me by Retro Snow when I was hanging out with him in Raleigh. Uh, I told him I was getting a Neo Geo Pocket Color and this is a game he was like, man you definitely need to get this game. And I haven't played too much of it, I played a little bit of it and from what I've played it's been a lot of fun. It's a uh, top-down action RPG. Think of like Zelda or Star Tropics in that style. It's a lot of fun, but also has a very interesting like Pokemon s type of collecting scheme where you're collecting souls and uh, these uh, items called Oons to help boost up your weapons and make the ultimate weapon to destroy the evil that uh, will essentially uh, help you with your evil contract that you just signed with the darkness. It's, it's, it's got a really uh, macabre kind of story to it and that's what I really like about it and this is definitely a lot of fun. It's a Neo Geo Pocket exclusive so I, I would highly recommend you guys pick this up and the, the coolest thing is I only paid five dollars for this game on Amazon. I mean that's what's really nice about the Neo Geo Pocket Color. It's a lot of games are really affordable and a lot of fun. 
Now I want to close off uh, with these pickups and talk about uh, some amiibos I got. Man, I've my amiibo collection has just become kind of scary. I, I admit I have a, an amiibo addiction, but I'm slowly starting to kind of get out of it. Uh, my main thing is I do want to collect and complete the Smash line amiibo, the, 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 the line that I started out with. And I'm only missing seven so far, and that's not counting that is counting the ones that haven't came out yet but I recently got Ryu and I got uh, Famicom Rob and I also got Roy and the detail on these amiibos just keep getting better and better I can I cannot stress enough how nice these amiibos look and I like the Animal Crossing amiibos I got a couple of those but I, I it's getting to the point where my amiibo collection is getting so big I'm like you know what the room that my amiibos are taking up, I could replace that with games. So I'm, I'm not going to get too much more into into them. I really enjoy them. I'm kind of setting myself a limit a little bit. But yeah, guys, that's some games I've picked up recently in the last couple of months. Uh, if you guys have played any of these games, definitely leave a comment below. Tell me some of your thoughts and opinions on them. I'd love to hear some feedback from uh, fellow gamers. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always. Happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcast? Be sure to check out our audio podcast on podomatic.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. And if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check us out on Facebook on our group page and join the community. As always, guys, thank you so much for all the support and happy gaming.